Makachev is fighting Dustin Poirier. Obviously, you guys know that. And this is a crazy fight. I'm thinking that, I think most of the world is thinking, oh, for sure, Islam is going to win this. But these guys are both so good that we really don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I want to understand a little bit more deeply what could happen. Islam Makachev has one loss. Obviously, we know this. Um, Martins. Martins knocked him out and Martins is a southpaw. Dustin Poirier is a southpaw, right? So I want to see how good Islam is in this closed stance situation. So we're going to look at the Martins fight. Where are his hands? Where does he put his head? What is his strategy? And will this beat Dustin? And then we're going to look at Dustin's fights, okay? We're going to pull up his last two, well, one of his last recent fights, and then we're obviously going to watch the Khabib fight. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, I'm just going to watch it the whole way through, and then I'm going to bring it back, and we're going to like look at some key moments. Oof, big overhand again, but he's not really setting it up with the jab. A lot of southpaws don't really use their jab a lot, and it seems like Islam is making that mistake here, because should be played like righty-righty. Ooh, just lunging in. I think that Islam was quite young here too. This is um, before I fought him. He was still quite wild, like delusional confidence. Didn't think he could really lose. And Martins is not to be toyed with, man. This dude has a bomb of a right hook. And he's got like a 50 cal for a left hand. Still pretty brawly from both of them, really. Just throwing large shots with not a lot of grounding under their feet. Coming out of position a bit. Oof. No real jabs to set it up. Man, that was a nasty shot. I watched this extensively before I fought Martins and before I fought, fought Makachev, but I for, you forget just how nasty that shot was. Oh. Yeah, you're going to have to sit for a little bit after that. You don't want that to happen again. We're going to go back here, get some slow motion and some rewinds going on so we can actually figure this thing out. Islam not fainting a whole lot. Martins is. Both men fainting now. Islam faints and jabs, comes with the overhand. And when he faints that jab, look, this is what gets him killed later on. This is the exact thing that gets him killed. He throws that overhand, he's going to completely leave his left foot. His left foot is going to leave and he's going to shift while he's throwing the right hook. He had a complete shift there. And when he is disconnected from the ground, if he gets hit, it's real bad. He's going towards the left hook with his head, or the right hook, so he's going towards Martin's right hook. Now Martin's read it, I'm sure, but he didn't, uh, he didn't throw it, he didn't capitalize right there, but obviously he does later and it's bad, bro. Southpaws with right hooks are really hard to fight because it's like nowhere is safe. Another big overhand, right? And that time Islam was more grounded. He didn't try to shift with it. Shifting forward can be very dangerous against a power counter striker. Martins is more of a counter striker. Oh, there it was again. Yeah, you see him switching his feet as he's coming in, almost like running while punching. Okay, that's going to get him hurt. If Dustin, if Dustin sees this, he can hit like a really nice check hook. Just fade back with the hook, kind of like what Martins did, or Makachev did there. And yeah, he'll be able to catch him in a place where he, his body just isn't designed to deal with impact. Yeah, Martins just actually does the same thing back to Makachev. He just goes jab and then overhand while shifting and then brings the right hook after. Right, it's kind of like mirror image. If you watch Islam's front arm, right, it's not in terrible position, but it is out a little bit, right? So he's lefty and he kind of stands like this, like there's a big diagonal on that front arm sometimes. It's shoulder mobility. People can't keep their arm like that as much. So they carry it more like this. It's also just a little bit easier for your body to do. It doesn't cost as much energy. But because of that, the overhand is available, right? And southpaws are really op really open for overhands. Like Makachev was actually hitting Martins with overhands because of the same thing. Martins' is hands a little bit more like this, shoulders out, okay, a little less like this. Makachev is more like this, but you could you could come over that with an overhand quite easily, which 
southpaws usually fight right-handers, right? So their overhand would be on that side. It's a completely different angle. They don't usually deal with um, overhand. So um, I'm not sure how good Poirier's overhand is. I know his straight is really is, is dope. He's got a really nice cross. Um, but we'll look at him later to see what's going on. A real lack of jabs from Makachev in this fight. And this is a long time ago, so I'm sure he's gotten more sophisticated. But I still do think most of his knowledge is closed stance. Or sorry, open stance. Like southpaw to, to orthodox. Oh my god, it's so bad. This is horrible. Yeah, like jump into the punch. Alright, so he's going to throw the left hand without a jab to set it up. And Martins, I believe, is right-handed. His right hook is so nasty, and so he's gonna sh Makachev is gonna shift while throwing that left left hook or overhand left, and he's gonna go right into Martins hook. Whoosh. Okay, so you can see Makachev's foot here has left the ground, and there is no defense, and Martins is just like throwing the kitchen sink as hard as he can right at that jaw. Martins has many, many knockouts like this. I was watching down like all his early fights even. In his early fights, he's knocking guys out like this, which is kind of difficult to deal with because he's also like a world champion in jiu-jitsu um, and a national Brazilian uh, wrestling champion. So it's like kind of a hard puzzle. Bang! And right on the button. Ooh, that is a wrap, folks. Like, see you later. Nasty. Okay, so we didn't see a lot of jabs, and usually the front hand dictates who's going to win the fight in a close stance. A lot of it does anyway. So you can use your front hand for a setup, but your backhand you can also use for a setup, and you can use it for killing. Like, the backhand is everything. It's, a, it's like a cross fight, right? And obviously they've got kicks as well, but... Um, in this fight, we didn't see too many kicks being thrown. A, a few front kicks from Makachev. He does have a pretty good front kick from his left leg. He has a good round kick from his left leg. Um, but we don't see we don't see a lot of that. It would be like this, obviously, because he's a lefty. Ba 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 ba. There's no real distraction going on with that front arm. And if you're in a close stance, you want to use that front arm for a distraction to set up that left hand, set up that overhand, set up that body shot, and then upstairs with the 3-2. Okay? If you don't use that, you're trying to jump across a gap often, right? My center line is closed like this, off pointing that direction, but as soon as I go to throw my left hand, right, it opens up, so I'm more vulnerable. I have more power, I can kill easier, but I can also die easier. So if you don't have that front arm to set it up, it could be a problem. Now, Dustin is a good boxer. Yeah, I would say that Dustin probably has a boxing edge on Islam. So, will Dustin be able to pepper him up with the jab and line up that left hand? Will he be able to get Islam to commit with a big, huge overhand like we saw here against Martins, and then, boom, hit that right hook over the shoulder, or even like as a check hook to spin off? These are, these are some, some things I, I'm, I'm really interested in. So we're going to look at another fight now. We're going to look at Oliveira versus Islam because that's also a close stance, and we'll see what happens there. Okay, so he, I'm, I'm seeing some action here with the check hook. Wait one second. Let's see, sir. It's going to cut off. So far, Islam's got a bit of a jab going. Back and straight up, but look, he's check hooking to get out, right? That that shows uh, a good use of the, the closed stance, although that works in open too, but it's something that translates to both. And right away, he's able to get into these clinches, and boom, down again with Uchigari. He's got a really nasty Uchigari. Is that done? Is that a wrap? Yeah, that's a wrap. So... Really not a lot we can see here from this southpaw versus southpaw situation. He does not spend a lot of time striking with these guys. He's in on their leg fast, right? And once he gets the leg, he gets them down. And once they're down, they stay down for the round. So 
The only person that we saw him not be able to do that with was Martins, and he really he didn't even try to take Martins down. He wanted to strike with him. I don't think it's the best idea for him to strike with, with Martins. That guy is a bomber, and he got clapped and slept. Now, will, will Poirier be able to do the same thing to him? I don't know. We don't have enough information, so we're going to have to check out Poirier and watch him do his thing and see if his weapons will fit the holes that Islam provides. Look forward to that bid. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.